Ladies and gentlemen, from the outset, on behalf of distinguished participants in the opening ceremony, I would like to convey our deepest sympathy and sadness to our brother and sister of the Republic of Philippines who have heavily heartedly suffered this place and lost their loved ones through the tropical storm Kapu. I'm honored to speak before this august gathering of distinguished personality at the opening ceremony of the launching of EU ASEAN Migration and Water Management II today, 20 October 2015, in Jakarta. Indonesia. Traditional organized crime cross national borders and slowing or stopping illicit movement of people and goods remains a top priority for law enforcement agency. Increase cross-border control. Now the, as I said, transnational organized crime cross national border and slowing and stopping illicit movement of people and goods remain a top priority for law enforcement agency. Increase cross-border control through the support of law enforcer is a key tool in su suppressing transnational threat in ASEAN region. The e EU ASEAN migration and border management program too is the expansion and the success of the pilot EU ASEAN border management program completed in June 2012. The launching of the EU ASEAN migration and border management program too is followed by three parallel coordination workshops. Workshop one, I-24-7, stroke seven, technical and operational rollout coordination workshop. Workshop two, stakeholder coordination kickoff workshop for training and operational activity. Workshop three, stakeholder coordination kickoff workshop for research study. Beside to introduce the EU ASEAN Migration and Border Management Program too, and to develop awareness of the program priority and benefit for member states through the above three workshops, the project launch aims are following. To ensure that the designated person attending the workshop will transfer the acquired knowledge from that workshop to the national level. To nominate contact officer responsible for national implementation of the program to involve member states in designating program training curricula person. 
to identify opportunity for member state training expertise to be shared. So when you get all this training, please go back home and share with your fellowship. It's not, it's not uh, uh, what we call a secrecy. Because a lot of people try to say, this is a secret you cannot share. That's no, no. Don't do that. To secure an understanding on the part of the member state to prepare, implement, and access border operation. Ladies and gentlemen, a number of regional and international forums expose constantly the impact of transnational organized crime as migrant, drug, arms smuggling. As the result, regional strategy, plan of action, capacity building training, and other bilateral and international mechanism for ASEAN law enforcement have been developed with thoughtful consideration. And this workshop again, I told you many, many years, this thing has been put in ASEAN again and again and again. And don't complain that we don't have this. However, many of these strategic mechanisms and recommendations demand a high level of technical expertise and financial resources to be implemented by the national state and unfortunately, this is true for many ASEAN member states. The intra-regional connectivity with ASEANs would benefit all ASEAN member states through enhanced trade, investment, tourism, people-to-people -people exchange, and development. At the same time, in the interest of preserving and enhancing peace and stability in the region, ASEAN seek to strengthen partnership. Unfortunately, today, we ASEAN are enjoying the partnership of the EU and the friendship of Interpol. The commitment of the EU and Interpol to strengthen the capability of ASEAN law enforcement entity clearly identified in the three workshops which respond directly to master plan on ASEAN connectivity and complement the ongoing regional effort to realize a people-oriented ASEAN community by 2015. To conclude on behalf of ASEAN and on behalf of the SAMTC Chair, I would like to convey our profound gratitude to the EU and their people for their generosity and partnership as accorded to us and to the Interpol for its expertise and friendship in enhancing ASEAN law enforcement entity on migration and border management and sincerely thank to ASEAN Delegate Representative of ASEAN Secretariat and member of the organizing committee for their mutual understanding and cooperation and the excellent arrangement respectively. Wish everyone a success and happiness. Thank you for your time.